So this is a little topic that I wanted to touch on briefly. It's about 12.30 in the night. And I thought I'd uh, spend a, a couple of hours to discuss this little thing that, um, that I wish more people would know, more bands would know. So, stick around. Alright, so the thing that I wanted to talk about today, tonight, is the topic of stage etiquette. So, more specifically, getting on stage, setting up, and getting off stage. So, you know. And I see a lot of bands, especially, you know, the more, the more amateur bands and I'm only saying this because I wanna I wanna help you guys. You know, if you're an, if you think you're an, in an amateur band, or if you think you aren't and you are, uh, this is this one goes out to you. You know, this is this is for, I'm trying to uh, give this information to help because this is where I used to be myself. Okay, so so when getting on stage, all right. Let's say, for example, if there was another band that just played before you, while they're tearing down, stay out of their way. Yeah, there's probably going to be not much room on stage to, to move in and out of the stage. So, the limited places where people can go on and off the stage is going to have a high level of traffic. So it's important to just wait there, just chill, let them handle their gear. Sometimes you might offer to help, offer your help, but uh, you know, most of them, they just want to handle their gear themselves. Just let them pack down and bring the gear off the stage while you wait. And once they're finished, or at least when you see that there's not much gear on the stage anymore, maybe you can move in a little bit start putting your gear in and slowly just trickle your stuff in now when you're getting on stage moving your equipment in try to move at an appropriate pace you know you, you've got a sense of you know have a have a sense of urgency because in times like these you know in times like these time is of the essence and you have to move swiftly one thing that i think would help is that with your gear Try to keep in mind setup times, reducing setup times to minimum so that you can, you know, number one, have more time to do your sound check. You have more time to chill and calm, calm your nerves down. And there's less stress. So learn how to essentially pre-set up your gear so that it speeds things up a little bit, you know. Because the faster you set up your gear, the faster you get on and set up your gear, you'd be able to help out each other. Help out, especially your drummer, because the drummer has most, you know, probably most of the stuff on, depending on, depending on how your band members are, how, depending on how your band is, usually the drummer has most of the gear, all, all of that hardware, the cymbals, setting everything up like that. That takes time, so... If you're already set up, then maybe you can help out a bit. And I refer back to the reason of why it's important to have a quick setup. And when it comes to, you know, bassists and, and guitarists, learn how to pre-wire your gear. You know, whether you have a pedal board or not. If you have a pedal board, for example, what I do is, to, in order to quickly, in order to reduce my setup times, I would pre-connect the power cable onto my pedal board and then and then just lay the cable sort of on top of the pedal board into areas that won't affect the pedals, won't it won't um, mess with the dials and everything. Plug the cable in, the cable that you that you would use for your pedal board to your amp. And if you're using wireless, 
you probably won't have to worry about the cable that goes from your guitar to your pedal board you know so if you're not using wireless if you're using cables plug the pre-plug the cable onto the pedal board that goes onto your guitar and just lay it on on the pedal board again in areas that won't affect the dials of your pedals now if you don't have a pedal board if you have your let's say let's say up to three pedals or something like that then you know instead of setting it up on the stage pre-set up the cables pre-set up the the pedals so connect the pedals all together with the daisy chain ca uh, power supplies or you know well, however you power the cables pre-wire their power cables pre-wire their cable the, the, the audio cables so that they're all you know they all connect together but if you if you have more than let's say more than five pedals to if you have more than five pedals to set up I guess maybe you should get it just get a pedal board you know or, or at least uh, you know find something flat to put those cables in to what to put those pedals in so when you when you preset them up they're all just laying on a on that flat item and when you go on stage you just you know bang all ready to go pre wired and everything but if you have more than five pedals and things like that where that's that becomes impractical you just go ahead and make a pedal board man if it's if if it's not in your budget i don't know make something up do something you know get it together literally and metaphorically and as the other band is exiting the stage maybe give them a little uh, a little hey that was good you know something positive like a that was a that was a good set something like that something that's uh, try to be genuine about that as well maybe if you you know at, at least if you don't have anything positive to say at least say something that's uh, that's neutral like a neutral comment but don't say anything that's uh, that's negative you know so those are some little tips of getting on stage you know now the other one is getting off the stage you know in some ways the this is this pretty much just the opposite of getting on stage so after your set chances are that the next band cannot wait for that turn so when you finish playing you know if you have a, a tube amp for example guitarist stand by straight away disconnect your cable put your guitar aside maybe put it on your on your stand on the uh, on the storage room for those of you who lean the guitar just anywhere you might as well just lean it somewhere where it's out of the way you know same with the basses as well, that applies to you guys. And get out of there as quickly as possible. During these tear down times, I see a lot of people with their, um, you know, individually disconnecting their cables, their pedals and things like that. Wrapping their cables on stage. Come on, man. People are waiting for you. You need to chuck that shit all into your pedal board. Your cables, your power leads, everything else. Put them all on the pedal boards and then get it out of there and deal with them later. There's going to be plenty of time for all that. Before you're set, most of the time you're going to have a lot of time to do this pre-setup stuff anyway this pre-wiring and all that so you might as well just do it it'll save you some stress just before you go on to your set but yeah guitarists and bassists it's a, it's a fairly similar concept for you guys just get everything just get everything just gather everything up and then just move it out of the stage do your, your unraveling off the stage of your cables and stuff and kneading up your your kneading up your pedal board your your pedals and your little gadgets just do all of that on the storage rooms or in the dressing room wherever there's a wherever there's more appropriate space to do that where you're gonna have all the time 
when you're not gonna be in people's way you know because you have to realize if you're an amateur band or if you're a bit of a mid-sized band you know you have to realize and I realized this too you know you are not the shit you might think you are but you are not that's real talk right there yeah so again move at an appropriate pace with some urgency in mind be con just just it's just you know it's just being decent and being considerate to others to other bands that night because when you do these things these are the one of those little things that I've learned or at least I see that can make people perceive you as professional and once everything is off stage you know maybe help the drummer out because that stuff is um, is is fairly heavy and there's a lot of it there's a lot of hardware depending on the show depending on what parts of the drums are being provided on the night you know just help each other out you know some camaraderie and when you're exiting the stage people say hey that was a good set you know just say just give him your thank you just give him your gratitude don't hang out and and have a chat and things like that like, come on man don't have a chat and just you know having your gear still waiting to be that's that your gears not going to pack themselves and move along it's your responsibility you know don't get distracted try not to get distracted and as you're exiting the stage and the next band is coming along maybe give them some good words of motivation like you know have a good set or something positive that will energize them for the set you know but yeah all in all just try to be professional, be considerate, be decent musicians. Because musicians are perceived to be crappy and there's already a lot of negative uh, views with musicians. So you wouldn't want to make it any worse, you know. You want to be, you want to at least try to be one of those ones that stand out, that people would remember positively. So that at least they'll like you they'll follow you and promoters on the shows will want you to play again the owners of the venue will want you to play that again and if you do enough of that then things are gonna go well for you things are gonna go real well for you